Now, Tim, you said last week when Sam wasn't here that you don't think Eric Ten Hag is a top manager. What do you think, Sam? I think is it's a barrier, and I think that uh, that. Uh, did I say it? You did. <laughs> <laughs> There's no taking it back now. <laughs> I think that. Uh, uh, I think that uh, I heard that um, the treatment of Sancho wouldn't happen to anybody else if they were a bigger player. I can't remember who said that on Saturday. It was on Sky on Soccer. Um, and uh, and I, th- I looked and I thought, well, that's a bad statement because he, he completely destroyed Ronaldo and got rid of him. Mm. So he'll stand up to anybody. But then this, talking about this with Tim before, how it changes in life, like, I mean, uh, that my discipline side massively mellowed on the basis of I am not cutting my nose off to spite my face. Yeah. So I am I am willing to warn the player and give him the benefit of the doubt to a certain point. Yeah. And I think that at Man United, the discipline side has, has worked last year because yeah. it looked like it had a lack of discipline. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Ronaldo was nailed yeah. and everybody went, oof. You know, yeah. you know, this guy doesn't mess about. And they went about, I mean, it's the first game they've lost at home for 14 months or something yeah. like that. But the, sh- the the performance was, I was mentioning this to Tim before, Tottenham's performances are that good because of what? Play this way, play that. No, defensively, they're very good as well. So they've combined the two. Manchester United are not. Manchester United are not. The 11 are not shutting down. Liverpool's 11 against Wolves in the first half was not Liverpool. Yeah. Absolutely so far off it. And then Jurgen Klopp must have shut that door and give them what for. Because mm. as soon as they came out, they shut Wolves down, they shut Wolves down, they win come to 3 1. Manchester United didn't shut Bright. Well, they did in the first 20 minutes, but then after that, they just lost it. So yeah. if you, unless the combinations are right, uh, and then, they, then you have to decide have you got the players to do it? Mm. And do the players want to do it? And that that's yeah. that's the big thing now for Manchester United. There's different facets of management, Sam. You know yeah. better than any of us. And and one of the biggest ones I feel, you know, you can be a training ground manager and a style of play, and it, it's about man management yeah. at times. And it hasn't got Anthony because of different circumstances. Now, and he loses Sancho for something he's just come out and nailed him for. Mm. Perhaps he might have been better off because Garnacho <coughs> is possibly not playing the best at the moment. Getting an arm around him, trying to get the best out of him, rather than discarding him to the to train with the development squad, and probably never be seen again in a Man United shirt. Now, that for me is not good management when you when you do that. It is cutting your nose off to spite mm. your face. And I made the point. I don't think Ten Hag has improved any Man United player since he's been there. I can't think of any. I, I, would, I would hope anyone can, can tweet in and, and let us know anyone who they would say that he is. I'd, I'd say Rashford been. last year, because I've yeah, never really seen is. Marcus Rashford score. Well, he scored 30 odd goals and yeah. he's never got 20 before. So if I just thought about, you know, one or two, he's the top mm-hmm. one. Um, but will that, will that happen again this year? You know, was it was it one of those yeah. one of those years? Like you I mean, but you know, again, you're you're going to boil Man United down to his management style. Now will be scrutinised until he can turn it. Will he turn it round? Um, he did it last year because they lost the first. They looked a bit a bit of a shambles to start, and he went bosh, and off they went. Yeah. And how good will the new signings be? Mm. Where have they spent the money again? Mm. You know, because there's big question marks about Anthony and, and mm. before yeah. there's question mark was well, Sancho worth that much money who hasn't yeah. seemed to you know, hasn't seemed to pay off again, yeah. like you mean, you know, that that's yeah the big question. Well Sancho's not his, not forward, his problem, I mean? is he? I mean no. it's his problem because he's inherited yeah. the player, but Anthony's someone he knows and he's worked with. So mm. there's no excuse for that one. No. When you're spending that amount of money, you not need to be bringing the kid in and you need to be sure that he can do the job. Mm. Rasmus Hoyland is someone he knows. Uh, you know, he needs to be he needs to come in and do the well, job. Should, it's a lot should, of money. Should he's they be injured. signing the or this has always been the question at Man United recently. 
is is should they be signing someone the manager knows mm. and how broad is his knowledge because mm. unless you're I mean Manchester United should be traveling the world mm. as as well as all the all the top clubs yeah you know yeah. and uh, and they should be traveling the world in scouting terms as yeah. well as obviously now we've yeah. got we've got algorithms and we've got mm. AI which gives us a lot of information which we use as well. Yeah. But it's it's not about how familiar the manager is with those players. Yeah. And should all those players be signed because the manager's familiar with them? Yeah. Or should it be Man United saying, well, yes, but there's a better player than that. Yeah. And this is the one we should bring in. That is the order of the day now because you're the head coach. You're not in charge of all that now. And 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 when you're when your knowledge is 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 big by the amount of times that I travel as a manager across yeah. the world to watch games, particularly in Europe, and when you've got all your other scouts with all the knowledge that they've got, and then you bring in AI, and that group is, is the critical mass on how successful the club is going to be. Yeah. Because then your management gets better because your players are better mm. and your squad gets better, your team mm. spirit gets better. Yeah. Everything about it, you just have to keep an eye on it and then make sure that you you, you see where the complacency comes in. You see yeah. where you have to nail somebody. You may have to chop somebody's legs off mm. and make them stand up like you did with Ronaldo. You may have to do it. It's still there just in case, yeah. but it's nothing like the old days. Mm where you could get nailed yeah. much more consistently yeah. now. Yeah? And you had to, as a player, you had to take it on the chin and prove to the manager you yeah. were with it. But I think you can do that when you're at Ajax. I think yeah. you, you, can, you can leave yeah. a player out. You can do what you want because you well, can get another kid up from the academy. They go into that non-competitive league with respect to Dutch football yeah, and yeah, you yeah. still win because you're mm. at Ajax. When you're at Man United and you're struggling like they are at the moment, you cannot do that. You have to, you need as big a group as you possibly can. They've had injuries. They're not coping with that. They've got a World Cup winner and they've got Varane as well, at two centre halves. I mean, they're just underachieving yeah. with, with the group of players they've got. And he did inherit a mess. I would agree that. Yeah. And he did okay last year. But has he moved? We can only work on what we're seeing for the first five games. They've gone backwards rather than come forwards. Mm. And it's Man United and we expect them. I want Man United to be great. I yeah. love Liverpool to be great. I love the big teams to be huge and challenging. And at the moment, they're miles away. They're further away than they was last year. Now, it might change, like you quite rightly say, Sam. He did pick up later on in the season. It has to. It's Man United. He has to get better. 